Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Morning Volatility Report. As I am Giovanazzi, Chief Operating Officer, OptionPit.com, welcoming you to, well, our Morning Vol Report. Uh, and with that, Mark had Trade Idea of the Week. Uh, last week, also, we have, you still have time to sign up for our Masterclass in Vol. Uh, today's the first day, so we'll go and basically be going through all the terminology, volatility terminology you're going to use for the class. Uh, it'll be a 10 part class focusing on trade creation around volatility and the volatility products index. That's pretty much the whole what the whole course will be. Each class will be dependent on the class before it, meaning you have to understand what class one was in order to understand what's in class two. Um, that way by the end you will have uh, hopefully a working knowledge of the volatility products and VIX. And again, as a special, as a way to trade, uh, way to trade volatility, just specifically using the vol products and the mix products. Uh, that starts tonight at seven o'clock. Uh, for a lot of, uh, actually, the, 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 it's our, I think our biggest class yet so far, besides some of the other stuff we do. But, uh, but it's our biggest event class so far. I think we've had. Uh, and with that, let's uh, let's get to that subject uh, volatility here. Um, I want to pull this up. Let me get this. Um, again, vol up. Again, we saw volatility in what, to the six handle, something like that. Uh, we even priced um, some options on Friday. They took the three-day weekend out, and literally there's almost no decay by Monday or Tuesday today. There was a little, but... Relative to the amount, it was there was almost a total free ride for all, um, or for people buying juice uh, on Friday. So you got to be careful. Again, that's one thing you'll probably learn on our course about uh, how volatility works. As you know, volatility and time are the same thing, um, or or can be the same thing. Um, what we got today, though, is kind of a there's a little bit more Brexit talk. Um, there is a bit of a rally in the pound, maybe because they aren't going to exit. I'm not quite sure exactly how this is playing out. We'll take a look at it today. Um, but pretty huge moves, huge moves for the euro too, almost like, again, thinking that maybe uh, the, par the parliament actually uh, rescinds the, the Brexit vote. So I think a lot, some of the pricing is a little bit messed up on that. We're going to look for some dates and stuff on that, but it it seems like usually when the pound rally and the euros rally, the euro rallies, that is getting back into the EU as opposed to getting out. Um, as far as individual trades, we have a slew of earnings. Most of the financial earnings were okay. Uh, I think we have Goldman Sachs coming up uh, tomorrow morning. Um, it's going to be hard to believe uh, that the earnings will be good enough for the rally, but who knows? Uh, we looked also some of the bank stocks uh, getting hurt a little bit. And again, I'm not quite sure what this is. Maybe just uh, because we've been rallying for really three or four straight weeks with the financials. Um, actually, a little more than that now. It feels like maybe five or six weeks that they're due for a bit of a pullback. And... Uh, and and that's what we're looking at is is the funny thing is we have a one handle rally in VIX and it's only up to 12.27. So from a vol point of view, again most of the premium is in the vol products. Uh, we will look at some individual things for settlement. Um, it feels like with settlement tomorrow, you know, I would be surprised if 12 probably is right around the level for this. I don't expect a whole lot more than that out of it. But until the market actually moves on something, we're kind of stuck here like this. Uh, Realize Vol is about the seven or eight handle for the SPX. Um, everything else now is looks like it's around earnings. So we will start to price actually uh, Vol dropping through the earnings cycle. Uh, we'll look at even with this. I mean, it's hard to believe that this is a rally in Vol. Um, it's really just a weekend reset, but 
you know, are we going to be stuck in the 11 handle for VIX for a while? I just, again, I don't know how low it can get, but I'm still, I'm looking at the inauguration on the 20th. For whatever reason, that still seems to be a bit of a, a date. Because what we've had for the last four or five years is we've had a lot of vol events around uh, dates, around the Fed announcement, around a non-farm payroll. Are they going to raise? Are they going to not raise? Um, and right now, it looks like all of those things uh, are kind of falling to the wayside as far as dates for vol events. Um, it looks like we could be into what I'll call a more historical pattern of volatility where – you know, the market is kind of rolling around, and vol just kind of stays low. Uh, since if the market's not moving, it has no reason to rally. There aren't any dates with huge potential moves looming on the calendar. Um, so we'll, we'll see after this next Fed raise, but we can kind of be stuff, stuck like that. So we're going to have lower vol, and then all of a sudden, boom, we're going to have higher vol. So um, although the where it comes from will be – the market won't, without a calendar to raise as a vol raising mechanism, um, just vol is going to trade kind of what it used to trade like, um, where we just don't have those kind of convenient vol events where they bid VIX up to 16 or 17 or something on some dopey Fed thing, and then you get a chance to sell a lot. It sells off again. So uh, we will have to look for new vol events, um, and that'll probably be part of the subject of our class. As far as today goes, we keep having these kind of half a point sell-offs only to sort of be met by rally or at least hunched on the day. So probably not much is going to change on that score. Um, it still, again, looks interesting around the 20th. I'm mean, looking at some time spreads here now. Even with the vol, you know, again, with those three-day weekends, vol is getting into the six handle uh, short term because they're discounting. It just doesn't look like they have that right now. So it is kind of a non-stimulating volatility report. Um, but again, gold up, banks down. So there could be a little bit uh, – the market's expecting maybe something a little bit different. All right, everybody, and with that, I will talk to you all later.